Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll show you how to solve this crazy integral right here. And don't worry because I'll show you step by step how to solve it. Okay, so the first thing we could do is to write secant cubed of x as secant squared of x times the secant of x. And don't forget the dx. Okay, why have I done this? Because now we're going to solve this integral using integration by parts. And we're going to do it with the DI method because it is the simplest and most effective method uh, to solve integrals by integration by parts. So let's put here plus and minus. And what function are we going to differentiate and what function are we going to integrate? Well, we all know that the integral of the secant squared of x is the tangent of x. So it is simple to find and we all know that. So let's integrate secant squared of x to get the tangent of x. And we're going to differentiate secant of x and this derivative is also very simple and it is tangent of x times secant of x. Okay, we know how to use the di method, so we're going to multiply the secant of x and the tangent of x, then we have the minus and the integral of the tangent squared of x times the secant of x dx. Now we have to find this integral in order to find what the integral of the secant cube of x is. Unfortunately, this is not that simple to solve. And we need to find another strategy to do it. So what I'm going to do instead is to go back to the original integral. And we're going to try to solve it in a slightly different way in order to solve this integral here. So let's go back to the step here. We have the secant squared of x and there is a famous trigonometry identity that is 1 plus the tangent squared of x equals to the secant squared of x. Why do we need this? Because we're going to write instead of secant squared of x 1 plus tangent squared of x since they are equal. So that this equals to the integral of 1 plus the tangent squared of x times the secant of x dx. Okay, so we can now take this product here and this equals to the integral of the secant of x dx plus the integral of the tangent squared of x secant of x dx. Okay, so we got this integral again, but do not worry because this time we're going to solve it. But firstly, let's solve this integral. I'm not going to do it now. I'm just going to give you the solution. So this integral here equals to the natural log of the absolute value of the tangent of x plus the secant of x. And then we have plus our integral. So the tangent squared of x secant of x dx. But now all this quantity here is the same as this quantity here because they are both the integral of the secant cubed of x. So we can plug this equal to this because they are the same thing. So let's do it. We know that secant of x tangent of x minus the integral of the tangent squared of x secant of x dx equals to the natural log of the absolute value of the tangent of x plus the secant 
of x plus the integral of the tangent squared of x secant of x dx and sorry guys i forgot the plus here here because we found this integral so i'm gonna add it here because it is just a constant so it doesn't really matter what constant is and now to find the integral this pink integral here we can just take this to the other side and then divide both members by 2 because we're gonna get 2 times this integral so the integral of the tangent squared of x secant x dx equals 2 you have to divide both members by 2 bring ln of ten of the absolute value of tangent of x plus secant of x to the other side so we get secant of x tangent of x minus the natural log of the absolute value of tangent of x plus secant of x all divided by 2 and plus c our constant and now we have to go back to equations this or this equation right here because we have to substitute this integral so i'm going to choose the first one but it's the same thing if you choose the second one it doesn't really matter okay, so guys we have secant of x tangent of x minus this integral so minus one half secant of x tangent of x minus one half sorry plus one half because minus times minus is plus the natural log of the absolute value of the tangent of x plus the secant of x plus c and we can sum these two terms and we get one half secant of x tangent of x plus one half ln of the absolute value of the tangent of x plus the secant of x plus c and this is our final answer if you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and as always until next time bye